you've got to pick either having parties, going out, or sit in the shed, build a car. Hey everyone, Jordan here from That Car Life and today we're doing a very special feature on this gorgeous 1974 Mazda 1300 rotary sedan. All right guys, so I'm here with Joel and he's the owner of this gorgeous Mazda 1300. What's the exact year and name of it? Because I think I kind of gave like a summarized version. So it's a 1974 Mazda 1300 FA3TS sedan. It's just the wide body of the coupe. Joel, how long have you had this car for? 2019, so about four years. Four, wow. Four, nearly five years. That's awesome, bro. And did you get the car looking like this or what? what's the story? behind um, actually getting it definitely not so i bought it <laughs> bare metal stripped inside and out so it was a bit of a, a trek but fully bare metal complete yeah. project shell yeah nothing at all just full stripped completely gone gutted and that is obviously hard to imagine seeing the car in its current state this thing looks properly restored like like a yeah. brand new car it's it took a while it's yeah. hard work but we got there so you did all the work yourself as well uh yeah just me and my older brother in the garage just whenever we got free time went out there had a couple beers <laughs> it together. It was a that's bit of awesome a family event so it's got some sentimental value to me as well yeah 100 percent. that's actually so cool bro like the fact that you've done this yourself with your brother as well like you know you've put your your heart and soul into this oh, and definitely. you can tell with the quality of it like this thing just looks absolutely immaculate one of those things where you're like you've got to pick either having parties going out or mm. sit in the shed build a car i, <laughs> I think you is... made the right choice and yeah. how old are you as well uh, i'm 22 i turned 22 a month ago dude for a 22 year old at your age build a car like this yeah. mad respect bro it, it's it's a big flex it's, it's something <laughs> it not is. many people can say so i'm i'm proud of myself nah massive respect for that man like there's not many 22 year olds out there that can say i've built a 70s rotary mazda yeah well, from she's, scratch pretty much she's so. 50 this year so she's half a century old that is next <laughs> level bro what did you do first actually when you got the car so we bought it we sat there for about three weeks just brainstorming colors if we wanted to go factory wide or something different so i thought yeah. we'll go with a candy color what's the color called it's a dna blood split red so it's very similar to the mazda red mm. and it's very very similar to candy apple but very very slight Difference. Yeah, dude, I love this color. It's just so unique. And you know what? The chrome parts of this car really set it oh, off as well. Yeah, definitely. It was a good choice, especially with the chrome trims, the bumper. The wheels too, chrome Simmons yeah, as chrome well. Simmons. I had to go with the brush. I had the stockies with the hubcaps that were cool, but yeah. something different. I think I saw photos used to have white walls on the stockies. Yeah, Is that right? It looks cool, but yeah. you can't beat the Simmons, man. Yeah. The Simmons suit it so well, especially the chrome ones. Yeah, definitely. What size are they as well, uh, the Simmons? 15s. Wow, so small. But you know what? For this car, it looks perfect because it's yeah. such a small car. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but they were a steal because they're genuine three-piece saw them bought them on the spot needed something different so definitely worth it having a look around the front of the car so these mirrors kind of like stick out on the side is that that's a factory uh so they're not factory there's um supposed to be one mirror on the side i wanted obviously the look the door mirrors just doesn't look good so the guard mirrors yeah bro 100 percent. these mirrors look so much better is that like a jdm thing like an option um, or it's a japanese thing yeah but they're so hard to find here so it was different and i thought if i can get them might as well put them yeah on. yeah 100 percent. you never really see these on 1300s in Australia. Definitely not. This is all like factory grill and yep, stuff so like that. All the chroming's factory. It's just been re-chromed. It's even got an old NRMA badge. Just a bit <laughs> very genius. It's well, so that, what is the NRMA badge? Like, so that was just one of the badges I used to use back in the day. It gives it a bit of character. I love that, man. Are you a bit of an old soul? Yeah. I think I get that vibe, yeah, bro. I, I grew up with my dad and that with all these old cars. Here's the reason I got this. Can't go wrong. That's awesome, old bro. Cars, rotary. The plates, bro. The plates are hectic. Uh, Fat 13B. That, that was a, a one in a million. Yeah. I should have bought and bought a lottery ticket, to be honest. These are one in a million chance. I'm so glad I got them because the amount yeah. of people are like, oh, I want to buy them off you. And I'm like, yeah, no, you must know. get so many offers for yeah, that plate. Yeah. I can just imagine. It's, amazing. it's just like, oh, how did you get those plates? Oh, when did you get them? It's like, <laughs> I just got them out of pure luck. Absolutely yeah. awesome. It kind of goes with the name of the car because it's a FA3 TS. So it kind of has that meaning. That's to right. It goes. Fat. It's just fat. Yeah. It's a fat car. Yeah, the whole front end of this thing, I absolutely love it. It's just such like an old school look and they did a good job with it. Like just from the way they designed it, Mazda back in the oh, day. The old school cars, they're better. 
Yeah. Better in every way. They hit uh, different, bro. Yeah. I'm used to like the Jap cars pretty much, the more like 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. So for me, this is definitely out of my comfort zone and like not stuff I'm used to seeing, you know, but definitely I love it and appreciate it. And being able to see yours up close is just making me appreciate these old school cars so much more. Chrome bumper cars, just they're dominant over the rest. You can't go wrong. Opinion. 100% man, I love it. All right, so now we're at the back of the car. What is this thing here on the side? That's a factory um, it's thing? It's a factory vent. Not sure exactly what it does. I know there's holes behind it. I think they've been plugged up because I know I've heard stories that it's water gets in there and it rusts. Oh, rusts okay. And stuff, so they're plugged up. They're just there for looks. It looks cool. I actually really like it, eh? And that, is that original, this piece right here? Yes, they're original off the factory floor. And I love this little badge here on the side, the Mazda 1300 badge. I was actually going to get it changed to RX 1300, but Mazda 1300, it's just It it's looks original. cool. Yeah. And that's the original badge, yeah? Yeah, original badges. Chrome was with the car. The badges were with the car. Mostly everything else I had to search and figure out how to get them myself. So. Wow. And how was that process, like trying to chase up all the original parts it was during covid so it wasn't oh. too hard but it was just wait times and mm. finding people that aren't charging silly money especially back then in covid all yeah. the prices everything went up as everything well jumped up so <laughs> it wasn't too bad bit hard here and there but other than that i had to go full original so. yeah i think original is best to be honest yeah, so 100 bro i love ugh, the rear of this car i think is my favorite to be honest like i love the front but the rear end of these things are yeah. hot the way they've designed it is nuts the tail light design that middle centerpiece as well you said that was, that was the garnish yeah, yeah that's the garnish that's all original as well we had to go with that that actually came with the car when it was stripped i am missing two bits of chrome but they're so expensive yeah. people want silly money for them because they're so hard to get it's that's the only right. bit i couldn't really get Wait, whereabouts is the car i can't even tell where it's missing uh, just in here oh so there okay there. so it's supposed to sit in there the ends of these are just they look hot it's just such a special car man and the fact that you're like a young bloke owning this is so cool as well bro it's mad you know many people see me get in it and they're like this is your dad's car, 100%. <laughs> it's like, no, I, I worked hard, I built it, yeah. it's mine. Some people just don't like to admit they're, yeah. they're we, not doing as well. Well, you know what? You worked hard for it, bro, so you deserve to show it off, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Especially yeah. working that hard and building it for yeah. all those years, so... Well, I grew up with rotaries as well, so it's kind of one of those things where I was like scrolling through Marketplace, just looking for something to build, and then this popped, popped up, up, and I was like, yeah, I So this was it. on Marketplace, you found it? Yeah, bought it, pocket change, really. They yeah. were worth nothing back then, just couldn't let it go. Yeah. I just had to. It was when either he... this or a VL Turbo. So Ooh. I had to go. It's a hard choice, but I think, yeah, yeah, something like this is definitely really unique. And definitely. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Marketplace, you can find some cracker deals. Eh? I bought my S15 from Marketplace as well yeah. back yeah, in the day. It's one of those deals where you just scroll and you're like, you lost hope, and then it pops <laughs> up, and you're like, yes. You can't pass it. it up. No, that's exactly right. <laughs> the rear window as well. What are these things called? I always forget the name. Uh, so they're called Venetians. Venetians, yeah, that's it. So they're not needed. They just look cool. Gives it that old school style. That's right. So it suits the car, bro. I think a lot of 70s, 80s cars had this, right? Yeah. I'm going to take you out and get them resprayed the same color as the interior which is oh, wow. we'll get to soon yeah that's awesome yeah we'll get to that very soon that sounds mad it's just a really nice car to look at the reds just it makes it look even better the reds immaculate and the oh. sun's coming out a bit now we can see the quality of the paint look at that sparkle i don't even say that on camera hopefully you can that is it's amazing it, it does get, it gets me giddy every time i look at it it gets me excited yeah i just can't <laughs> wait to drive it and for the paint did you guys paint it or so one of my family friends painted it he used to do panel beating as a job he'd stopped it for ages and he's yeah. like, I want to get back into the business. I know you need this painted. I'll do it for you. And no use way. it as like a, a catalog car. And he did an immaculate job. He did wow. a bit of the bodywork too, so it's straight and it's, Dude, it's perfect. That is ultimate. So everything just worked out perfectly, yeah, you know? Everything worked out. It was off the trailer two weeks, all, all the work done, and then hit the garage and that was it. Started from there. What a story, eh? That is next level. So Joel, before we move on to the interior, what's like a crazy story that's happened in this thing that you can remember? Um, I got it done. Just got it back from the tuners and I thought there's a car made on very close to me about half hour away so i was like sweet hyped it all this up posted it in the chat and i was like yeah i'm gonna get it out there just got into the town went around a roundabout and this cops run across the road pulled me and i was like shit i'm, I'm gone now <laughs> he's gone over the car defected me completely absolutely annihilated me and that was the day you brought it out the first day the you first drove day it. i got it back yeah yeah he slapped the red sticker on it i had seven defects to clear oh my um, goodness lost my license on the spot and he told me to drive it home so. you lost your license from the defects so it's a modified vehicle technically so he'd find me for driving a modified vehicle on my p's oh wow so that cop was just obviously having a bad day and just yeah he took it out on me so oh, seven defects goodness. had to get all them cleared up and engineered now so she's all 
100% ready to roll, all engineered. But engineered and legal. It just stopped me for another six to nine months oh, to drive it again. So I was really <laughs> upset about it. At least, as you said, you got it all sorted out yeah, now and stuff. Right now, so I don't have to worry about it, hopefully, unless yeah. they really, really, really want to be pricks. I mean, if you ever see that cob again, you can just throw the, all the engineering certificates well, in his face. <laughs> I don't want to really throw him under the bus, but I heard he lost his job, so. <laughs> Yes, you know what? Karma, karma. Karma's a bitch. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> karma. So that was an exterior overview on this gorgeous Mazda 1300. So the exterior on this is absolutely mint. And now we're going to suss out the interior on this beautiful car. Dude, I love the uh, the door handle design as well. That's so old school. Wow. And the door's so light as well, man. This is actually tiny, the car. Like, I'm standing up right now. And this is me, like, looking right over it. Like, I have to really get down in here. Dude, the seat feels... Is it, this is a factory seat? Yeah. They have factory interior, factory seats, factory door cards, factory dash. It's got the wow. factory, the cassette stereo. No aircon, because who needs that? <laughs> yeah, especially in a car like this, right? Windows down? Yeah, no, windows down. Never up. Yeah. You can never have them up. Very clean. The only thing that I need to get done is I have to get a custom carpet made, because they don't make right-hand drive wide-body carpet. We had to cut the left side, because it was obviously longer. But other than that, everything else is immaculate in here well yeah the rear seats bro that's all factory all factory yeah and all original sure. yeah that is nuts and i love the design so is that a factory design on the trim there like yes. that yeah well wow. so the steering wheel that's that's aftermarket you said yeah so it's an aftermarket steering wheel with a custom made sticker just to make it look kind of original is that shift knob original it's, um, it's not original out of this car but it is off like a old rx4 maybe the wood grain on the steering wheel and the shift knob yeah, it really goes gives it that old look it does it gives it that old school look this was not an original manual i know it was an auto when we bought it but being stripped you might as well just change everything so did the the manual conversion the gearbox the clutch before the motor got a series 4 rx7 gearbox in it series 4 rx7 motor well yeah i think you made the right decision going manual yeah yeah i think automatic it just wouldn't be as fun if i was going to push power from it yes but being just a cruiser manual just Mm. does it enough totally agree i think it's as a cruiser manual you just can't beat yeah. and you get bored driving an auto gotta have something to do yeah <laughs> especially in a car like this you definitely yeah. need a manual this dash as well that's fully original yeah it's all original it's just got a couple cracks but gives it character to be fair it's not as bad as what you'd expect from something that's this old headliner as well that's all original too uh yeah that's all original headliner original oh advisors. dude they're still in their in, in their the packet <laughs> yeah, i haven't taken them out because i like the look of it i don't use them anyway they're, they're too small yeah they don't cover much is there anything else with the interior not perfect but i do need to do a little bit more to it to get it there that's all in good time yeah it's yeah. never finished there's, you can't have a build that's finished mm. there's always something else i so. agree bro that's that's the thing with car people we're always something there's like always something, always something to do you can never be 100 percent satisfied with a car it's just not possible well i think that's a good overview on the interior so next up we'll go over the engine bay on this thing and suss that out so the bonnet on this this opens backwards backwards, backwards yeah it's a bit different to what most of you guys know. Oof, that is mad. This bay is tiny, bro. Very, yeah. very small. It's so small, bro. But yeah, I like the chrome aspects of it. Those, that's the throttle bodies, right? Yeah, so they're the throttle bodies. Originally had a little box over them, but I like the trumpets. Yeah, the, the trumpets on that, they sound good too, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. This is a 13B bridge port, is bridge that right? Port, yeah. And that's what gives it the nice brappy. Yeah, it gives brappy. it the, the good idol, <laughs> the great idol. Bridge port's my favorite, 13B bridge port. I think it's one of the best sounding engines. Yeah, just it's, hands it's, down, that's that's my opinion. I, I think it's I think it's it's up there with one of the best sounding like engine sounds. What else have you done to the engine, babe? So it was originally a carby motor. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. EFI, mid fuel injection. Easier, more efficient, better performance. Yeah. So did the full EFI fuel injection, basically just put the trumpets on. Other than that, it's pretty well stock. It's got the, the Gilmore drive, just tidied it all up, hit some wires as best we could. Did you put the motor in yourself as well? Uh, yes, yeah. so the motor itself wouldn't fit originally, so we had to reverse sump it. Yeah. So the sump's actually flipped upside down so it could fit properly, <laughs> which is, it was a pain in the ass. That was I can probably imagine. the hardest part about getting the motor in. We put the motor in, we got it all up, we put the, the new clutch the new gearbox in but we didn't wire it up mm. we didn't really know it was easier to get it wired up by someone and tuned and yep. ready for the road so plus wiring can always get a bit tricky a bit finicky i can't i can't do it bro, yeah, no, so. like, we can do like stereos and sound systems but when it comes to motor wiring i've got yeah. no idea especially like yeah you'd rather get like a professional do it bro with yeah. that kind of stuff yeah, at least where me they anyway. know what they're doing but yeah. other than that their motor fit fit decent perfect fit wow no, no machining no cutting up the firewall it just slides straight in it's perfect 
for it, eh? And yeah, I love that it's so compact, so small. It does look like it's meant to be here, 100%. Yeah, it, does. it does. Even though they came factory piston motor, they, they look like they were supposed to come off a factory floor with one. I totally agree, man. It looks right at home in this engine bay. It's painted so nice as well. It's like nice and sparkly as well. Yeah, no, he did very well with it. For his first job back, I have no flaws with it. It's yeah. immaculate. And, and power-wise, has this thing been tuned as well? Uh, it has been tuned. It's been on the dyno. It's nothing special. Just, I think it was 170 horsepower to the wheels. Yep. But, and that's <clears> on, <throat> what fuel is that on? Uh, 98 Premix. Put some 98 with some two-stroke in it. I'm not supposed to be quick. It's just, yeah. It's all for sound, all for looks. Man, for a cruiser, that's absolutely perfect, man. 110%, that's all you need. Really, it's 170 with 900 kilos, it's... Yeah, it's, it's a enough. it's a light car, so yeah. you don't really need to go too crazy. Definitely, it's stock fuel tank. Choose through fuel like no other. I think I get maybe at tops 200 k's a tank. Yeah. so it's <laughs> not very what? fuel efficient, but it's worth. But it's it. all smiles. That like yeah. whole 200 plus k's, it's all it's, it's all, all smiles. Smile, so yeah. it's it's worth it, bro. Smiles Definitely. per gallon, as yeah. the Americans say. And Joel, what exhaust system have you got on this thing? So we went with the uh, AS Racing Muffler. It was for better fuel efficiency and engineering purposes. It gives it that really nice note. It's really bad on emissions, but it, it's passable. I had to get it for obviously engineering purposes. Can't say I don't like it. This is a bigger tip than what I originally had. Louder, but still legal. All right, guys, so that was an overview on the exterior, interior, and the motor on this gorgeous 13B Mazda 1300. So now all that's left to do is to start this thing up, listen to the gorgeous 13B Brappy sounds that are going to come out of this thing, and then we're going to go for a drive and see how it drives and how it sounds. That literally sounds next level. I'm so excited. It gets so loud. The fuel pump's very loud, eh? Oh, it's, it's probably overpowering to the actual car noise. That's only on the inside. You don't really hear it otherwise. Yeah, and plus, once you get into the revs, uh, the car's engine noise kind of overpowers it. And then it's just noise. Yeah, then, <laughs> then it's just pure rotary noise. <laughs> wow, bro. The note on this is amazing. I love it. Is amazing. It screams. It does scream. Literally my first rotary experience and I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh bro, what a no. Bro, that idle will never get old, bro. And is there is there power steering in this thing? Uh, no. No uh, power steering? No power steering, so it steers like a boat. Yeah. <laughs> I could sit here and listen to this idle all day and I, it would never get old. It's a, it's a dream, really. It's it really is. Very calming, very soothing. It's just <laughs> rotary. It sounds amazing, bro, and everyone's looking, bro. All the cars are out, everyone's heads turned. Yeah, it's, you just can't go wrong. It's a genuine neck snapper. Some people just, when they hear it coming, you can just see them <laughs> turn around, their necks snap. And it's love the attention it brings. I, I just like the fact that it can bring other people happiness as well. That's the best part about owning a car. It makes you happy, but you spread that joy to everyone around you. It's the best part about it, man. It's just 
one of the beautiful things about cars and being a car enthusiast as well. Definitely, I have to agree with that. It's nothing's better than making someone else smile with your car. And the more people that like it, the better. If they don't like it, well, that's that's on them, really. 100%, bro. This sounds so good. I can't get over it. <laughs> a good cruiser bro I know what you mean yeah. <laughs> it's comfortable, it's comfortable. It's... and it sounds freaking amazing <laughs> this is so much fun man I just want to cruise in this all day you don't need boost in this uh, NA Bridgeport is plenty of fun yeah, it's got some talk behind it too so yeah man when you put the foot down it really does throw you back still yeah, will never ever get old. I think I said that a million times, but it's true. Out of a piston engine, to make the idle sound good, you've got to put like big cams in it. And obviously it has a nice brap, but it's nothing compared to a rotary. Rotary is just, it's all factory brap. One of those things you just can't get enough of. It took the speed bumps pretty well as well. It's not too low. The back being pretty tucked, it scrubs a little bit, but slow enough, it's... It does a job. No, it doesn't scrape. <laughs> it's really stiff though, so you feel the speed up to bit. And it takes it very well. Yeah, I can't get over how smooth it is on the road. It doesn't feel like a 50 year old car. After it's been tuned, it's just driving so much better. So yeah. I'm very happy with how it's come out. Bro, they've got a horse there. They've got horses. Wow. Oh. <laughs> when you let off in first, what a note. It's like all burbly. We're not even going fast at all. It's just the pure sound at any speed, low speed. Massive smiles, bro. You literally don't need to go fast to have fun in this car. The same with all rotaries. Like, you've got guys pushing big power at it. They're cool, but all they need is a nice sound and then that's the job for you. It's very cheap smiles. They're very high maintenance, but it's worth it all in the end. Like, it is, isn't it? My mate Nick, Alakuya Automotive. He knows all too well. Shout out to you, Nick, with this FCRX7. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's got some mad videos on it too. He knows all too well the issues with the rotaries. <laughs> No. Wow, man. I feel like a little kid in this car, bro. Like, just I can't stop smiling, giggling. <laughs> oh. Hey, you gave a thumbs up. So we just got back from that drive and Joel, all I can say is wow, bro. Like you saw me on that drive, nonstop yeah. smiling, giggling, like just the overall driving experience in this car is just unlike anything I've experienced before. Like a rotary is just so unique in the way it sounds, the way it drives and the street presence of this car as well. Every single person that we drove past pretty much, snapping next, we got thumbs up, we got everything. It's just such a different experience, like driving around a classic car, a 70s car compared to like, you know, the 90s Jap cars that I'm used to. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a different experience, but it warms the heart a little bit. It's the fact that people can enjoy it as well, just... 110%. So I think the quality of this car, the quality of the build is just next level. Like you can really see that, you know, it's been a labor of love over these years. You put your heart, soul and tears into this yeah, thing. Yeah. It just comes out in the overall quality of this build. Everything that we went over in this car today, the exterior, interior, the motor, the sound, the look, everything about this car is perfect. I think it's just the ultimate street cruiser, classic cruiser. You've done an amazing job, man. And the fact that you've done this at such a young age, so much respect, man, honestly. Like for a 22 year old to have a classic car, and the fact that you've built it yourself and with your brother as well, of course, it's just, yeah, mad, mad respect. And I hope this will inspire, you know, the young people that are watching this as well to show you guys that if you put your mind to it, you follow your dreams and you work hard, you can make something like this happen. You can build a very special car. I can't stress it enough. I didn't do partying and all that. And this is where my passion was. So if you did something, build a car. It's worth it in the end. Yeah, you can go out whenever you want. You can enjoy it. You can take it to meets, let other people enjoy it. It's all fun with the car community at the moment. So yeah. build your own car and you can enjoy it the way you want. Some words of wisdom right there. I just wanted to give you a big shout out as well and a massive thank you. You, you guys may not know, but Joel drove quite a long drive here. How long was the drive? Uh, about two hours, 15. Very long drives. Massive thank you for coming all this way. I really do I appreciate, appreciate it. you having me here. I've been eager to do it for ages. Like We've been constantly getting in issues. And <laughs> I know, ske scheduling problems, but we got here in the end and 
it, it was a blast. It, yeah, I was about to say, you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. It was a blast. Best way to describe it. Yeah. And if anyone wants to follow you, follow the build, the car, uh, where do they go? Instagram is candyfa3ts. Well, I'll put the Instagram right here next to Joel. So yeah, you got to show Joel some love, show the car some love, follow the build, follow the progress as well. As you said before, it's never ending. No, so never ending. there's always something else. All right, guys. So before we finish the video, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is going to thatcarlife.com.au down below. We've got car parts, apparel, and some car washing and detailing accessories from Anarchy Auto Care on there. So I'll link it up here and down below if you want to check that out. Yeah, any support you show there really does mean the world. So I'll leave it there, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, there's more features coming to the channel, so make sure you stay tuned to see what comes up next. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on That Car Life.